Hi guys, she's here and welcome back to another video. So for today's vlog is going to be so special. I've been really wanting to try out this kind of content. Just sitting here and chit chat, talking to you in front of the camera, answering your questions, sharing my stories. You know, I love that kind of content. A lot of pre-medical students and aspiring doctors were asking me, Atishi, how were you able to get into this school? What's your NMAT? What's your advice for me? I'm just an incoming freshman. What's your tips? So to answer your questions, um, I will be sharing my story. And I do hope, I do hope that I can address your questions. So if you're still up to it, then just keep on watching. One, two, three, fuck it. First and foremost, disclaimer, lahat ng sasabihin ko is my opinion only and dahil nakaka-relate ako dun, so sa akin lang yun. Okay, so before we begin, I would like to introduce myself. Hello everyone, I'm Sheila Marie Arojo, 21 years old and currently a second year medical student in the University of the East, Ramon Magsaysay. A lot of pre-med students are asking me, how was I able to get into URM, knowing that I'm just a recon? Okay, so here's my reconsideration story. I am a graduate of a BS Pharmacy from the University of Santo Tomas. So imagine, first year pa lang ako, I've always wanted to go to UST Med. But to cut it short, I ended up with URM. Why? Number one, location. I'm from San Juan City and UST is España. Yes, malapit kung iisipin, but the travel time is... I cannot explain. Super hirap. Um, especially as a pharma student, mga pharma student dyan, mga karilid, our classes starts from 7 a.m. and ends at 7 p.m. That was our third year life. It was so hard. It's such a hell. 7 to 7 kami. Every day? As much as I can remember. And, you know, yung uuwi ka na lang, dadaan ka pa sa traffic. So, super pagod talaga. So, kinoconsider ko talaga yung location nung, nung mag-med na ako kasi ayoko nang mahassle. Especially, it's med. Mas mahirap, mas mabigat. I really considered location as my first priority location. URM is just 5 minutes away. Second, I did the research. So, on my research, I found out that URM is um, one of the schools na mayroong Center of Excellence, which is um, so nice. Also, one of the few schools na may level 4 paasko accreditation. So, I'll just put it here kung may makita man ako na support about that kind of accreditation but yun yung nagustuhan ko. Last but not the least, lower end mat. Which is a big slap on my face actually. Uh, lower end mat but this is going to be the biggest lesson of my life. End mat ng UERM is 75. Sa USC yata is 85. Ateneo is 95 or 90. St. Luke's is 95 or 90 din yata. And UP 95. So to cut the story short, last year of my college, super excited ako. Inayos ko lahat ng requirements ko and as early as possible, nagpasa na ako sa UERM. I was so complacent. Hindi na ako nag-apply sa ibang school. So lesson for those na mag apply for med, I highly suggest mag-apply kayo sa maraming schools as much as possible. Let's say, apat. Kahit apat. Basta mayroon kang pagpipilian. The more, the merrier. Diba? Pinipilit ako ng nanay ko. Apply ka sa ibang school. Back then, I was so arrogant. Hindi naman arrogant, pero mataas yung pride ko and mataas yung ego ko. Masyado malaki yung ego ko. Nakapasok naman yung EMAT ko, eh, siguro pwede na yan. Diyan na lang sa UER, kasi yun lang naman talaga yung school na gusto ko eh. See, arrogant thinking. No, no, no. Pawal. Huwag niyong gagawin. So, sa mga aspiring med students, huwag kayong maging complacent sa school na gusto niyo porque pasok na pasok yung EMAT niyo and okay yung grades niyo. As much as possible, have your options. First list, lumabas. My name wasn't there, you know. Alala ko pa yun. Umiiyak ako nun kasi kauwi ko lang from school. And all of my friends are comforting me, telling me it's okay, may second list pa naman. So I try to be optimistic, I change my perspective. Okay, may second list pa naman. Pero hindi pumasok sa isip ko maghanap na ibang school. We are lang, we are lang. And then, second list came. Funny, kasi uh, yung second list nung lumabas na yun is first ever date ko with my boyfriend right now. So, alala kayo na sa Mega Mall kami, mananad kami ng Infinity War. Nag-chat sa akin yung best friend ko, sabi niya, girl, may second list na. I asked her na siya na lang sana tumingin ng name ko kasi nga nasa date ako. And super yung kaba ko nun. And then, she told me, wala. I can't imagine the feeling na nasa date, first date ka, tapos ang lungkot-lungkot mo. Gusto mong umiyak, pero hindi mo magawa kasi nasa first date ka. Ayaw mo namang humagulgol sa harap niya, di ba? Ay, di na turn off yun. Buti na lang maganda yung Infinity War at nakalimutan ko lahat ng sakit for 3 hours or 2 hours. Hanggang 50s to yung New Year, I'm so sorry ng friends ko, pwede pa yan, may chance ka pa. Pero that time, 
So, na nag-sink in sa akin na hindi. Um, hindi pwede to. Kailangan may actions na akong gawin. Kung gusto mo talaga sa school na to, lahat gagawin mo. Okay, this is to answer yung mga questions ko. Anong mga ginawa ko. First, recommendation letters. Two recommendation letters from your profs. Hindi ko alam kung may bearing yun, pero kasi yung recommendation letters ko is from two MD profs ko nung undergrad. Good moral. Uh, next is reconsideration letter. Okay, this is to answer again another question. Doon sa reconsideration letter, anong sinulat ko? Reconsideration letter, nagsulat ako ng greetings, um, introduce myself, from what school am I, bakit UERM ang gusto ko, at UERM lang ba yung inapplyan ko, uh, tsaka uh, ano yung contribute mo sa UERM if ever papapasukin ka nila. So, yun yung laman ng reconsideration letter ko. Right after doing everything and preparing the documents that I need, tinabot ko na agad siya sa admissions office and then, I was just waiting for one week for a call. So, wala. So, tumawag ako. Follow up po, ano po status ng um, application ko? The admission just keep on telling na wala pa daw sa kanila results kasi nandun daw sa admin. So, for for two weeks, napaulit-ulit akong tumatawag. Yun lang yung sagot na nakuha ko. Eh, hindi ako naging contento. May halong takot na yun kasi I don't wanna gap year. I don't wanna gap year. So, I level up my game. Kapalan talaga ng mukha. With the help of my mom, she asked na din kung sino ba yung pwede namin kausapin. So, pinuntahan na namin siya sa office niya. Doon ko nalaman na yung status ng application ko, which is super layo. Super layo pa! And he unintentionally umiyak ako. Nakakahiya, guys. So, to answer yung mga question, doon na kung ano ba talaga yung criteria nila. This was during my time, okay? Ito yung sinabi niya sa akin. Um, there are two major criteria for them to select kung sino makakapasok. First criteria is your NMAT. So if you're above their NMAT cutoff, then better. If you're still under NMAT cutoff, then you're still on the game. Second is your grades. Guys, kung nasa pre-med pa kayo, taas-taasan nyo na yung grades nyo para makapasok talaga kayo sa school na gusto nyo. Kasi malaki din yung cutoff talaga ng GWA ko. NMAT and GWA. Okay yung GWA ko ng undergrad. Masasabi ko okay yung GWA ko. Yung NMAT ko, above their cutoff. Yun na lang masasabi ko. It's above their cutoff. Unfortunately, he said, marami kasing mas mataas sa'yo. So, take note of that. Marami kang kakompetensya. Maraming may gustong maging doktor. So, as much as possible, aim for a higher NMAT and aim for a higher grade. So, wag mong petix-petix ang undergrad mo dahil yan din ang tutulong sa'yo makapasok sa school na gusto mo. Imagine the regret na hindi ako nag-aral mabuti for NMAT kasi that time NMAT yung problema ko. Ang naging problema kasi is maraming kang, marami akong nakalaban sa slot. Maraming mas mataas, maraming pasok, pero mas matataas ang grades. Kaya, syempre, sila yung bibigyan priority. Which I totally understand. So, nanghihina na loob ko. Pero I kept on fighting. Um, you know, I pray every day. I pray so hard. And I keep on calling them just for them to retain my last name. Aroha po. Si Aroha po. Meron po kayo kayo. You know, imagine. Super nakakaya. Ang naging problema pa dun is lahat kasi ng slots ay na-reserve. So imagine, mag uh, ano talaga sila, um, iintayin talaga nila yung enrollment para malaman if sino yung hindi na, hindi na talaga tutuloy. Ano na ako nahirapan kasi um, I think enrollment na that time is July? July. July yata yung enrollment. I had to wait until July para malaman if may chance ako knowing na nandit pa ako sa lower percentile ng mga waitlisted. So, I had to find another school. Hindi ko nasasabihin ko ano yung school na to. And to cut the story short, nakapasok ako. Ayaw ko talaga mag-gap year. So, I have no choice if hindi ako mag-UERM, gap year or this school. Cut off na rin nila eh. I remember that time. Nag-text na sila, are you still gonna continue? Or are we gonna give this lot to others na? Ganan, ganan. And hirap na hirap ako kasi wala pa akong nakukuhang any message from UERM. Pinush ko talaga na itry yung UERM. I took a leap of faith. I pray, I really pray, and sana Lord, ko ano mga kabuti sa akin, dun mo bigay, dun mo ko, dun mo ko ilagay. I did not ask for him na ipasok niya ako sa UERM, na ipilit niya ako sa UERM. I asked, Lord, sana dun ako sa mga kabuti. Dun ako sa mga kabuti ako. After praying, I just decided, hindi ko na kukunin yung school na yan, yung nag-text sa akin. So, wala na akong choice. It's either I get into UERM or gap year. Let's fast forward. Two weeks before pasukan ng URM, I I went there and I asked for my my name, and then sabi nila wala pa din. Wala pa ako sa list. 
grabe yung kapal ng mukha na hinugot ko talaga dito. And I went there and I talked to the dean. So I asked him na if there are any chance for me to to go into that school and I really really wanted it. I really want to go there. You know what I love you about UERM is that their dean, our dean, our dean is so warm and very welcoming. You won't even feel that feeling na elite siya, na mataas siya, wala. He's so welcoming and he's very um, open to your questions and your concerns. So that's it. After that, I just pray. Yun na yung week na puro pray ako kasi konting-konti na lang talaga. Wala na akong chance eh. Magkakaroon na lang pasok ang school. And then one week before classes start, I went there. Um, I asked for my status. Sabi nila sa akin, you're on the Fifth, you're on the fifth slot. Oh my god, I feel so. Alam mo yun, parang nag-chills ako all over. Hindi ko ina expect na tataas ako sa fifth list. Nabuhay na ako ng loob. Nabuhay na ako talaga. So I keep on praying and praying and praying, and school starts. Wala na to mawag sa akin. Ang gum fifth na lang ba ako? Hindi ba talaga ako makapasok sa UI? Kasi nagka-class ay nag-orientation na sila, and I'm just here waiting, you know. I check during their first day of class, I check on them and my status. And then I found out I moved up. Third. Third name na ako. That was so uh, fulfilling, you know. Going from fifth to third. You know, going from the bottom and fifth to third. It's so nice. And then after that week of orientation, I can still remember I'm just at home scrolling. You know, scrolling about looking. You know, just scrolling and looking at the pictures ng mga or like orientation. Like, ah, buti pa sila ganun. Alam niyo sa iPhone, yung mag-notify, yung may banner. After clicking that notification, boom! It's UERM. They're now informing me na nakapasok na daw ako finally sa list. And, and I remember the happiness. You know, I can't even explain how miraculous that is. And you know, the good thing about it is that hindi pa nag-start ng formal lecture yung class nila. So, super nakahabol ako and I'm so happy and that's a very miraculous story for me. I, I took a leap of faith, I trusted, I believed, and I prayed so hard. You know, letting go of one thing and just taking a risk, doing everything in prayers, and trusting God and believing in Him. Just pray and trust and believe in Him and do everything that you can. Exhaust your options, level up your effort, and then God will grant you what you want. And sometimes, hindi man niya mabigay yung gusto mo, but he will give you a better solution and a better one. So, that's it for today and I hope you enjoy this video. I'm now here, second year student in UERM. So, super saya. You know, super saya.